G'day, and welcome back to my patch, or at least now I can call it my patch, since I've really taken ownership of this, this ground, and uh, yeah, no, I'm feeling like I've leveled up. I finally, finally, after all this time and an inter-semester break, I finally um, basically taken ownership of this ground. I've, I've taken control of that, that weedy, weedy patch. I don't know if you can remember that, that um, video I showed Oh, I don't know if it was a month and a half ago where um, I started off the uh, the leveling up or the gaming experience in the garden. But basically this whole section was just covered in weeds. But now hopefully you can see three clear, beautiful, distinctive garden rows. And these are all made from, I was really, really very lucky. I've, this was all made from 100% recycled materials. So got the cardboard from the uh, the cycle shop across the street I got um, a layer of leaves a good five centimeter thick layer of leaves from down um, from in front of the university but also from um, the uh, groundsman at the university they got a massive pile of leaves there got compost a good five centimeter thick layer of compost from from our bays which you can see in the back there that right bay and also from the university as well there was some um, in, in the leaves they had a massive heap, and in the back of that, that heap of leaves was um, leaves from previous years, which had already composted down really nice fertilizing uh, compost. Oh, there's some cardboard's blown over, the, over there. But And then on top, I got um, volcanic topsoil, which oh, to just really nice quality soil from um, basically someone had been doing some renovations landscaping in their backyard, and um, they had spare, spare soil. Um, I think they pulled it, dug it up for a pool or something. Anyway, so that's nice quality um, volcanic soil on the top. So yeah, I'm quite really excited to uh, get growing. In fact, I've already started, got some experimental experimental system for spinach over there. And there's some coriander that I just planted up on the weekend. Um, there's my broccolis and beetroot and things over there. Over here, I've got, again, a little bit of broccoli, but some rocket and some lettuce. And I'm planning, hopefully, going to be doing carrots in this whole row. And I'm going to be doing mostly lettuce in these rows. Lettuce and maybe, um, and I'm planning on expanding out. So I'm really, really excited um, to finally, uh, finally have gotten at least a small patch of this garden under control. But yeah, there's still, obviously, the sections out there. I'm thinking at least two more rows, but probably actually at least three more rows. So I've still got a lot of work to do, but I've learned how to do it now. But it's really, the, the issue is actually collecting the materials. That's as the slope, though, what's the, is the, a big bottleneck for me. Um, but yeah, no, very, very excited to uh, get growing here in the heart of the city. As you can see up there, heart of the system, heart of the city, Auckland. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not, you know, I think we won't be growing masses and masses of food, but if we can produce something fresh, and organic and really nutritious for the city maybe bring it to the farmers markets or maybe even just to give to the uh to the mission and to the people who really need it um yeah it'll all, all been worth it and of course a little bit for myself too because i love the fresh produce anyway hopefully that was interesting and um yeah i look forward to catching you again in another video catch you later